Hi, and welcome to Breathe Fit Sugar. This is your 15 minute intro to foam rolling session. My name is Danielle Gray, celebrity trainer and founder of Train Like a Gymnast. Whether you're new to foam rolling or you wanna add something new to your routine, this is going to be a great session for you to change it up. All right, so to start, let's take a deep breath in. And out. Let's begin. I'm using a mini one today. You can be using a longer roller, that's fine. We're starting with angels on our back. So you wanna make sure that your head is on the roller. Don't let your neck flop off the end. If you're using a short one like I am, go ahead and lift your hips. If you're using a long one, it should be on your tailbone as well. From here, palms are up and you're gonna make angels on the floor. Bring your arms all the way up overhead. Try to touch your thumbs together and then breathe out as you bring it back down. Something to keep in mind as you're doing these angels is keeping your low back pressed into the roller or if your hips are up like mine are, keeping your core engaged. You've got just a little bit left here, but think about breathing in every time you go up and breathing out every time you come down. Let it relax, okay? Drop your hips or bring the roller out. You're gonna bring it to the side now into T-spine twists. So you're gonna lie on your side. Your arm's gonna be out in front. The roller is parallel to your body. Your knee to your ankle is in line with the roller and then you're gonna breathe out as you rotate and try to get the opposite shoulder on the ground. The bottom leg can be bent or straight. You're probably gonna do two to four reps here. Treat it like a stretch, not like an exercise, and work with your breath. When you return back, go ahead and switch to the other side. If you want a little bit more of a twist in your spine, you can move the roller and you can bring your knee to the floor. All right? So, arms in front, bring it out, breathe. You might get some cracks and pops. Just listen to your body, do a body scan from head to toe here. And then we're gonna end up lying on our stomach as you return back here. All right, so now what I want you to do is bring the roller in front of you. You're gonna be on your stomach, but your chest is gonna stay off of the floor. All right, you're gonna put your arms straight. And this one, we're gonna activate a little bit of our muscles here. So we're gonna lift a hand off, bring it back down and then switch sides. As you're doing this, you're gonna be looking in between your hands and I want you to breathe out on the lift. So taking your own time here, really trying to activate the back and the shoulders so that you can feel when we transition into rolling our triceps and our biceps, what is actually being massaged. Try to keep your feet on the ground as you're doing these prone lifts. If you want to try to make it harder, you can put your head down on the floor and continue to lift. Now, the reason I have you up is because it's a little bit easier and more accessible to lift your arm, especially if your shoulder mobility is slightly struggling a little bit. We're gonna work on that, all right? We're gonna stay in the same position as we transition into the triceps. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the roller in front of one shoulder. Arm in front, thumbs up, okay? From there, think about this section of your arm in thirds. I want you to stay in the middle part where the biggest part of the muscle belly is, and then kind of go back and forth. And if you want to do a little extra rolling, internally rotate, thumb down, externally rotate, and you'll feel kind of a pop over that muscle belly, depending on how much pressure you put down. So if you have a lighter density foam roller, then you might not feel it as much, or it might be a little more bearable. If you are more experienced to foam rolling, you might be using a denser foam roller like I am, and you can put a little more pressure to feel what you're trying to get. You can go closer to the shoulder, closer to the elbow, depending on what you've done. Go ahead and switch sides. Other arm in front. Go ahead back and forth. And then from there, go ahead, do your internal and external rotation, working with your breath through the rolls and through the pops. You can do this down by the elbow, to the middle, and by the shoulder or you can stay in the middle, just depending on what your body needs, and that changes from day to day. 
From here, we're gonna go into our biceps. So now the roller comes parallel to our body. We have our thumb down now, all right? We roll back and forth, same thing, treat it in thirds, and you can still do internal and external rotation. Every time you breathe, you are giving a signal to your brain to tell your muscles they are safe, it's okay to be in this position, and that they can relax. It's very important when rolling to relax the muscles you are rolling. Otherwise, you're not gonna get the benefit of the actual rolling, the self-myofascial rolling. You are in control of how much pressure, of how efficient, of how intense all of this is. So take your time. The next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna push it down by our hips. So we're still gonna be staying on our stomach, but you're gonna roll it down Okay, and you're gonna put it either on both quads or on one, okay? You do have four quad muscles, but we're saying one side and the other side. So you can treat everything like thirds as well here. You're gonna roll all the way down, really trying to relax the toes, relax the quads, let the roller kind of dig up in. Now, same thing, you can do some internal and external rotation here. You don't have to go crazy with it. Since this is an intro, you're just learning and getting kind of experience with rolling. It should be a four to a seven out of 10 on the discomfort scale, okay? From here, bring it up into your hip. If you have a longer roller, you're gonna make sure that it is off the center, okay? So the edge of the roller is in front of one hip. You're gonna bend that knee, okay? From there, you're gonna bring the heel to the outside of the body and you might feel that right away. That's gonna be right in that hip flexor and you can play around with that heel coming out and in. Then we'll do the other side, okay? So other side, whether you're rolling it fully on that side or you're going into the hip flexor, you wanna make sure you breathe. This one gets really hard. You build that heat because you're also in like a half plank. So just remember, you have to go all the way down by that knee where the muscles insert. You're getting the full range not rushing. Then we're gonna bring it up into the hip flexor, bend that knee, bring the heel to the side, and then bring it back and forth. And foam rolling versus stretching passively allows for some new areas of opportunity. Maybe some different angles, some different spots that you didn't know were quite sore, all right? This one is one of my favorites, especially if I've been hiking, jogging, or running a lot, all right? Now from here, we're gonna do a quarter turn to our side. We're gonna bring the roller right under our armpit, so right in that spot. You might be able to feel it in your back if you kind of roll back a little bit. It's right behind the shoulder. We're not on bone. We never roll on bone, we roll on muscle, okay? So our arm is up by our ear, and we can go back, and fourth, we can go down and up. And just remembering to work with your breath here. This is for your lats, okay? You can go a little bit farther down, but if your lats are not super developed, you might feel like you're rolling over ribs. So listen to your body, feel where you need to be, okay? And you might find a spot where you're like, oh, there are angels singing. So let's breathe through that, okay? Take your time, breathe and relax. Tell your mind, tell your muscles, we're gonna stay here and give a little bit of attention to it, okay? Then try the other side. So flip it over. That goes under the armpit, and you can lean back, same thing, back and forward, down and up. Breathing, relaxing, getting into that spot that maybe you haven't touched. Maybe it's new and it's very sensitive, so breathe. And then now we're gonna to transition to our back. So remember how I said, we don't roll over bone. So when we go onto our back, we want to go center and then slightly angle our hips. So not quite 45, but right in the middle there. If it helps, you can put your hands behind your legs so that you're not keeping a lot of tension in your neck. Your core should be helping you a little bit too. So foam rolling is not only just rolling, you're also doing a little bit of core work as well. So I want you to roll down by the low back through the mid back into the upper back, staying off of that bone, treating the back in thirds, okay? Then from there, we're gonna kind of shift and lean to the other side. 
You can have your hands behind the legs, behind your head, or overhead, depending on what feels best for you. So much of rolling is experimentation. If you feel like you're slipping, you can always readjust. You can move, you can bring your chin to your chest, but finding those spots that are really going to help you relax and release. This should feel very regenerative. There's nothing wrong with rest days. There's nothing wrong with taking a day to roll if you're super sore. That's your body telling you it needs to rest. And by you giving it that attention, you're gonna be able to perform so much better, okay? Now, what I want you to do from that middle, remember we're not rolling, we're gonna go to the center, our hands are behind our head, and from here, we're just gonna relax maybe two inches down, and then breathe out and curl up. We're not doing a sit up, we're just letting the roller press into the structure and come back up. You can roll down a little bit, give me about two more, relax, one more, inhale on the way down, and out as you come up. Beautiful. Now we're transitioning into our hamstrings and glutes. Now you have three different hamstring muscles and we're still segmenting by thirds, all right? So since I have a mini roller, I'm gonna do one side at a time. If you have uh, a longer roller, you can do both at the same time or you can cross the leg over to make it more intense. So from here, by the knee, by the middle of the muscle belly, by the insertion under the glutes. I'm in the middle, okay? I can internally rotate my leg and do the same thing. I can externally rotate my leg and do the same thing. You might find one part of your hamstrings is a little bit tighter or a little more sensitive than others. Give it some attention and then move through while you work with your breath, all right? We'll do the hamstrings and the glutes on one side and then we'll switch to the other. So from here, since I'm on my right leg, I'm gonna pull the roller back to my right glute I'm gonna sit on the roller with my right glute, cross my right leg over. Everything is right, okay? And I'm gonna tilt my right knee down to the floor. Then from there, I'm gonna roll, and you should feel that right away. Breathe through that. You can play around with rolling and rocking. You can play around with moving forward and back, but this, especially if you hike or you run a lot, this is a great one to do because those muscles are gonna be a little overactive, okay? Let's try the other side. So let's go to the other hamstrings, all right? So left leg, now I'm going from the bottom of the hamstring where it inserts behind the knee, going to the middle, taking my time, and then right where it inserts under the bottom. From there, you can internally rotate, and externally rotate. Go at your own pace, finding the spot that's gonna work for you. Maybe right in the middle is good. If you want that more intensity, you cross that leg over and it's gonna, it's gonna increase, you're gonna feel it. If you're like, nope, that's not for me, then you stay here and you adjust. If your wrists are starting to hurt, you could start to use a parallettes or something that's gonna make it not bend over 90 degrees. All right, go ahead to the glute from there, cross that leg over, now you're gonna tilt the left if you're with me. You're rocking back and forth here. After this we're going down to the calves and we'll finish with a beautiful low back stretch because I know that's what everybody wants and needs. Take your time. Now calves. If you are sore in your calves you're going to discover right away this is very intense. If you're not sore in your calves just just take today to learn. So I would recommend doing one at a time. You can do both on a roller uh, if that helps, but I think one at a time, you can kind of adjust the intensity. So in thirds, down by the ankle, internally and externally rotate. You've got a bunch of different muscles down there, especially since your feet are the only things that touch the floor when you walk, unless you're a gymnast and you're on your hands. Um, you need to take care of your legs, your lower legs especially. Start to work your way up towards the bottom of the knee, top of the calves giving that internal and external rotation. If you need a break here, you can do this through your hip and keep your bottom down, but you will feel that heat building, okay? Take your time, kind of like when we did the uh, triceps where we internal and external rotated. You can do that with your calves too. If you watch, you'll see that little pop is going over the muscle belly. So I'm trying to dig and release and relax through that muscle. Try your other side, okay? 
down by the ankle, taking your time, looking and connecting with your body, breathing, sending those signals to relax, and then slowly working your way up, adding the right amount of pressure that you need. And then you can do the internal external rotation, feeling the little movement through the muscle belly. Awesome. All right. From there, you can put your foam roller to the side. We're gonna finish with that low back stretch. So you're gonna be in a butterfly position. All right, so your feet are together. And you're gonna sit up really straight. Your left hand is gonna go to your right ankle. Your right hand is going to go behind your head. From here, lift up out of your hips, twist to the right so that your right elbow is facing back behind you. Then as if it has a laser beam, you're going to try to get that laser beam to point to the ceiling as you tilt your left shoulder to the left knee. Keep both sit bones glued to the ground. Take a deep breath in and out. From there, you can round your back, but keep that elbow lifted and then bring that right hand to the right knee and press that knee away as low as it can go. You should feel this all through the lower right hand side of your back. Thank your body for what it is doing for you, what it did for you today, and what it allows you to do every day. Let's do that. Same thing on the other side. Right hand to left ankle, left hand behind the head. Sit up really tall, twist to the left. One side might be a little more flexible than the other. Don't judge, just become aware. Then tilt that right shoulder to the right knee while lifting the left elbow to the sky. Keep both sit bones glued, keep the knees pulling down and breathe out. Keep that left elbow lifting and then bring that left hand to the left knee. Press that knee away. Keep tilting. If you want to bring the chin to your chest, you can. And breathe out. Come all the way back up. I want you to take one final breath with me. So deep breath in. Hold for a second at the top and then breathe out release everything. I want to thank you so much for rolling with me. Now, this was kind of fast, and I want you to know that you can always take more time. You can always pause me, do whatever you've got to do, because this was just an introduction. I could literally spend an entire hour teaching you how to roll. So go at your own pace and listen to your body. Thank you so much. I hope you come back again. All right, you can do this before or after any workout or just on an active rest day. I'm your Breathe Fit Sugar host, Danielle Gray, celebrity trainer and founder of Train Like a Gymnast. Come back next time. I will see you soon. Keep breathing.